Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft, welcome back, it's been a while, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it turns out that um, the holidays kind of get in the way of editing. So, now we are here, now we are trying to get things done and I hope I can, well, throw this episode out before Christmas, I hope so. First thing on the agenda today is to take care of this situation. This area here sticks out like a sore thumb. This cannot, this cannot continue. We have to close this area off, get a nice building going for our animals and most importantly for a little donkey friend here who has just been patiently sitting in this hole, which will not be the case forever. I promise you. Can you jump by the way? Can you jump out of this? No, no, you cannot. And you need a name. You did a name tag. We can now buy name tags, which is perfect. Now, I want to build a stable that sort of looks like, well, at least a tiny bit, looks like our main building. Moss on the top, the same kind of um, block pattern, maybe some variations, we'll see. Moss, all the cobbly swords and disciples, all the stony bits we also used previously in the main build. Stripped dark oak, dark oak planks, um, the unstripped spruce, um, composters because actually from the side the texture is quite nice. A little bit of jungle wood that would be the difference to the main build because there is no jungle wood there. And stripped oak. That should be a nice palette to, to build with. Now I've already laid out the, um, the blueprint so to speak. Not sure if I have to extend it this way a little bit more. We'll see. There is the main room for all sorts of storage and maybe even some pens here, just next to the hallway. The main pens will be in here and outside. I thought about um, parking chickens and maybe piggies or something in two of those and dedicate the other side completely to cows. And there we should be able to create one opening like this one where we can keep our base stock inside and just lure the babies outside so they have <laughs> at least a few days in sunshine before they um, get turned into leather. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been gathering a lot of stuff and I think we can get going. Hmm, so I'm not sure about the jungle logs. I'm really not sure. The contrast is a little bit too harsh, I think. I think I'm gonna rip them out. Maybe I can place them inside. And maybe I should, at least for the outside, stick to the color palette, the exact color palette that we used here. Meaning I'll have to replace the jungle logs with Stripped spruce logs. Let's take a look if that solves the problem. I mean, yeah, you've got to experiment. Okay, sure, but yeah, that's way better. That's way better. Okay. You know, I'm not sure how this keeps happening. Um, I was trying to build a little tiny stable. <laughs> Pragmatic, something just to store the animals and then move on to, well, building a way tunnel into the mesa and blah, 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 blah. But no, it has to be ginormous, of course, and super detailed. But hey, that's, that's what we're doing here. <laughs> so that is the front. I'm somewhat happy with it. A few new elements that um, differ from what we did with the main building, but that is fine. And I even had this idea on how to design the side entrances for the cows and stuff. So that is that. Now imagine a moss roof, moss grass, leaf roof on top and pretend like this is some fancy interior, okay? Um, yeah, this takes a bit. <laughs> huh. So it is the next morning. I'm very sorry for the morning voice. Um, I don't think this works. I really wanted to use the composters, but that is just too... Too much red, I think. 
Plus the jungle wood also doesn't fit, which is which is a shame. I wanted to have some variegation in this build, but uh I guess you'd have to switch up the color palette even more. Yeah, well, well, that is that. Such is Minecraft, such is life. You gotta experiment and if stuff doesn't work, you rip it out of your build and 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 do something different. I think with this build we actually might have to keep sticking with with our old faithful spruce wood and, and oak trap doors. Like this, maybe? I think so. Yeah. Let me take a look from downstairs. Yeah, I think that is that's the way to go for this build. Well, we wanted it to, to kind of look like the main build anyway, so that is fine. Maybe we can do something with the floor in, in jungle wood terms and uh, mix things up a little bit that way. Now, would you look at this? This is one of the main struggles that I'm facing when trying to build something like this because I'm always winging it and, um, yeah, well, things are not symmetrical and I cannot live with that. I either have the option to take this beam down to make the entrance and the stone next to it symmetrical, but then, I don't know, a pillar is missing. And just leave it like that. So, okay, how do we improvise? with this hmm we could widen up the door of course but then we would have to um change the roofs as well and that might look very strange so i'd like to change out the stone stuff on this side just just try around a little bit no reason why the sides shouldn't be completely made out of wood, I think. That might not be as terrible. Ooh. How does it look when we complete the pillar? And yep, that would look like this. Hmm. And the other pillar. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, dip, dip would still look strange. Ah! What if we change it out for strip black oak? Eh. Then we would have to obviously change the other side as well, but that might work. Um, okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad from this side. I can live with this. Question is, can I live with this from this side? Hmm. It's not perfect. It is not perfect, but I can live with it, I think. Hmm. <laughs> the struggles of being a perfectionist. Ah, oh, this is grr, painful. <laughs> you like this? Maybe? Maybe. I might as well put some hay bales in front of it to, to cover things up a little bit. And I stand corrected, I cannot live with it. <laughs> so I had to change the roof. At least in this part, the other part is not yet fixed. This is now a three wide entrance and it is symmetrical. This might seem like a little bit too much effort, but it would bug me. It would bug me every time I look at it. And this is much better. Now for the roof, even though that is not really on the menu right now, um, I'll try to get a variation of green blocks going, like grass, moss, green wool and green concrete powder. We need sand, gravel and green dye and we have all of that. Ooh, that's a lot. Whoops. Probably won't need that much. Let's see. This looks nice. Yeah. Next to moss. Ooh, that is exactly the same color palette. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay, this is mountain grass, a little bit bluish, will be different down there. And the wool. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's perfect. Whew. Now I have finished the 
attic. Not sure what to do with it, other than place some light sources, maybe like a show. I honestly cannot wait for the um, change in spawning behavior with 1.18 because there mobs only need, uh, no, mobs need light level zero, I believe, to spawn and you won't have to light up everything like you, like you do here. Um, for the moment, I think this does it and maybe we can just put some hay bales up here to make it look like it has some sort of use. Like the attic is stuffed full of hay reserves for the animals and we get a little bit of light from here through the trapdoors. That is also good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need more hay. And then I have to fix the roof because right now I've just cased in the, the attic and this pretty much looks like, yeah, like nothing. <laughs> we have to fill all the blank spaces in and then get the roof on top and then we have to do the interiors and then we have to do the decoration on the outside and then we have, we have to move the animals and this is, this is, yeah, yeah, um, I um, mentioned it before, I was about to just build a tiny stable. And this is what happens. Whoops! Now would you look at that, I think we are done. Well, with the stables itself, of course, the surrounding area is quite blank and naked and definitely not finished, but I think completing the surrounding area and terraforming and, and doing all the greenery, that will be something for the next episode, because otherwise this episode will not be coming out before Christmas and I would like to uh, yeah, get it out relatively soon. So. Let's take a look. This bush actually is a little bit in the way. Maybe, wait, maybe I can put it here. That's better. Now, let's take a look. I have not moved the animals quite yet. And, oh, now that I see it, I think I may have added a little bit too much hay. Hmm, not sure about that. I'm going to let it sit like this for a little bit. Wait for some feedback. Now, what we have here is one relatively big enclosure and one tiny one. And I think I'm going to leave the tiny one open for the animals, in this case here, the cows, to go outside. Um, and this one might actually be the one where I breed the baby cows. The same goes for the chickens over here, I think. And I thought about putting some piggies in here and on the outside part. Maybe some chickens outside as well, we'll see. Pigs we'll have to find first, actually. Now the outside, this is something I'm fairly proud of. First of all, I have finished the wall that we put around all of our fields over here and way back on the other side, just down to the riverbed. Over there you can see it. So now this should be safe. What we need to do right about now, because I cannot finish this enclosure here before we, before we relocate the animals here. Now for the chickens, I think I will just take their eggs. And well, um, I totally released them into the wild. Well, that happened. Yeah, no questions asked please. I'm not really sure on how big the cow enclosure is going to be. I think we will have to relocate the guys first. Um, probably put them inside one of the pens. Um, yeah, 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 that should work. Wait, do I have any wheat? Yes, I have wheat. Let's try our best to, well, at least get most of them. Mm, like this. You guys come over here. Uh, feels like it's too many cows. Ah, uh, hello. Can I, can I please get, oh God. Oh dear. Could you, may I? 
Thank you. <laughs> this looks a little bit off, having that much, that many cows. Hey, the heck? Please don't. You're not here to climb. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Okay. That was not intended. Um, how do I... I need a light source here. That's what I know for sure. Maybe like this. And then they should be safe. I hope. We'll see. And some chickens. Hello. 16 eggs and no chick. What's happening here? One. Okay. Okay, that's way better. So much for that. You guys have fun in here and grow up and, and, and lay many eggs. Now, I think we should go. Oh, there's totally no, no, no raw chicken and feathers in my inventory. Like I said, those guys um, 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 are somewhere else now, in a better place. Let's go look for some pigs. Actually, I'm not quite sure what pigs eat. <laughs> I know it used to be carrots, but they made some sort of change, and I'm not not completely sure what change that was. It's been a while since I last tamed some piggies. Um, maybe potatoes, maybe beetroots. Piggies, look at them. So majestic. Oh, and you seem to like beetroot. Wait, let me let me let me go to sleep first. Let me go to sleep. So you are in no danger when you're coming back home with me. Oh, there's a cave. You are actually... You... You like to live dangerously, huh? Do you like potatoes? Do you like potatoes? Uh... Do you like potatoes? Do you like carrots? You also like carrots? You eat everything. Okay. Well, very realistic, actually. Yeah, come on, come on. You are smart guys, come on, move it. Move your tiny pink buds. What is <gasps> Bonnie? Oh, I have a carrot. Maybe he'll come with me too. No, he won't. Yeah. Okay, can you make it through the gate? That is the question. Well, okay. <laughs> that was not a big problem. Come on. I like this build. Look at it. It's so much more overgrown um, than the main building. And it has this dent in the roof. I really like that. Looks a little bit more um, wonky. And I think a build like this can always use, use a little bit of, of wonk. Uh, did I lose one of you? I think I did. Okay. Well. If he doesn't want to, then he doesn't want to. That's okay can probably just hop in here. Can you do that? Yay! You're smart piggies. Smart piggies. Come on here. Come on. Yes. Very good. Can we breed you again? No, we can. Oh, we can. Nice. Okay, this is your home now. You, um, yeah, keep, keep looking pretty and, and do your thing. And don't escape. It's not safe outside. Yeah. Oh, oh. This could be a problem. This could definitely be a problem. Now they may not be able to get up here. <laughs> what are you doing? You dumb dumb. Go! Oh! oh dear. The berry bushes are not a good idea in here. And I think I'm done. Nothing major here. Just a little bit of um, texturing on the ground, a little bit of greenery, bone meal for some vegetation. And I think I would like those guys that are roaming around here freely to get into that pen and just be the decorative uh, part on the outside, the alibi cows that uh, sort of distract from the carnage that takes place inside the stables. Okay, but from what we can see here, this looks okayish. Of course, in the next episode, we will have to take care of all of this area. I actually want to get rid of the torch forest because that really doesn't look good. I would like to surround this cow pen with wheat fields. I think that is fitting. We can, of course, build some, well, some more custom 
birch trees, I'd say, over here, maybe a little pond. And one thing that we have not addressed yet, but that I actually thought I would combine with this build, but I thought otherwise, is our little donkey friend needs some sort of separate stable. And I thought, hmm, either this place right here in the middle, that would be a good spot. Uh, we'd have to make sure it doesn't block the view on the entrance in here. Or over here. Um, hmm. Kind of a diagonal build would be an idea. And in this case, I'm really speaking about something tiny. Just has to have room for a donkey and maybe a horse, nothing more. You know what? You guys, if you, if you come with me, you want to come with? Yeah, we need some, some dedicated barn cats. Take care of potential creeper spot. Even though I'm sure I lit up everything. You want to come in? Whee. Can you port in? Hello. Okay. You sit here, you take care of the cows. Okay. Cats are sorted. Perfect. Well, guys, that's it for today. I hope you like this build as much as I do, <laughs> because I'm actually quite proud of it. Leave me a like if you did, and I'm going to see you in the next episode, where we finish the terrain around our base, which would be awesome. Have a good one. Bye-bye.